I am getting sick and tired of this cycle. I just want to break free from it and move on. But there's certain things that are not letting that happen the way I want it to happen. And now it results in what you are about to see right here in this video. that there was a person in this house. What the hell? It's like, I'll just look first before looking at the footage, but it said person detected. If somebody's in this house, they better come out now. If you're in the closet, I'm on the outside right now, so you better come out. If you're in that closet, you better come out now. Come out. Uh-uh, uh-uh. This doesn't look right in here. I don't know what the hell it is, but something looks different in here. Now, I remember that I had somebody who was stalking me back when I was making those creepy clown videos and sharing some of that stuff online because, you know, some idiot was wearing a clown costume and stalking us. I heard doors shutting. I heard drawers opening and I heard like the sound of somebody walking I looked over all of the ring footage, even the outdoor, and there was somebody back here. I, I, I don't know if I'm losing my mind or what, but somebody in a clown costume that looks exactly like what's in the closet in there walked through here. What in the hell?
There's no way. There is no way. No way anybody's in here. I'm checking in here anyway. I mean, I have, I have a camera in here as well, right there. And I'm not seeing where all the other cameras are because there's, there's another one that aimed somewhere around here. Nothing came in here, but I'm starting to question whether something can just get past my cameras because somebody knows where everyone is. But who the hell be... There's no way somebody have the same kind of costume and, and come in this house looking exactly like that. There's no way. How? I don't even think you can get that costume anymore. I get up in the morning. I take my vitamins. Take everything I need to take. I go for a walk. Then I come back and then I make my bed. Which I haven't even had time to make my bed yet. Because I get a notification on my phone. Which disrupts my morning walk. And now it's almost 11 o'clock. <sighs> you know, I'm gonna set up a camera because I keep hearing sounds in that closet. I'm setting a camera in that closet to see what the hell's going on. this I mean I had this propped up for Halloween I didn't take it down yet but to have somebody walking outside in the back looking like this how is that even possible I just gotta figure out where to set this camera up in here I put it somewhere his camera and put it right over here. All right. All right. I just put my phone in there and used the camera and then this camera dies so then I have to grab my backup phone which batteries don't last long in this one.
good stuff. What the fuck? It sounded like it was coming from back there. All right, I'm gonna conserve energy on this because my main phone is in there right now. I swear, it sounds like whoever's in this house is like, it's going all over the place. sounds in here but the clown's still in here He's still propped up the fuck all right well the clown is still in the closet but i did hear some noise back there Thank you. 
Man, I just heard sounds back here. Once more. In here. What the fuck? All right. The fucking clown. The whole thing is gone. I just, I had this propped up in his. All right. Who's in his house? What the hell? That's gone. That just came out of the closet. Now it's somewhere in his house. Oh, my God. God. Oh, shit. Oh, bitch, it's trip of a damn freak. Uh. All right, somebody's in this house because that clown costume, the prop for Halloween, it's not in there anymore. It is not in here anymore. <laughs> There's no way. There is no way. How? How is that gone? How is it gone? I don't get it. Whoever's in this house better come out. Now. Fuck. Seriously, how the hell is this happening? I don't see anybody in this house. And that's missing out of the closet. How is that possible? missing totally gone I have no idea I mean I'm trying to have me a lunch which I usually well, actually, breakfast, which I ended up having at lunchtime. You know what? If I hear a sound, I'm grabbing his camera and I'm actually going to go in my safe and get something with, you know, the, the thing. Ah, uh, forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Let me just put this down for a second. What the hell? You sound like something just slammed a door in here in the freaking bedroom somewhere. All right, who's in the back here? What the actual fuck is going on? What the hell? All right, the class, the the clown costumes is laying on the floor in here. Somebody had to put it there. Somebody. Somebody's here. What the fuck was that? How the, okay, now it's fucking gone. What the fuck?
No way. There is no way. There's no way this is happening. No way. Uh-uh. What the hell? something in there. What the hell? Shit. Once again, I just heard another sound in here. Before of the cloud was laying right there. I turn around and it just disappears out of thin air. Sounds like something's in that closet again. When I went in there, nothing was in there. Lights out. It's just, it's right there. It's literally still in the closet again. It was in the closet, then it was out of there, and now it's back in there. <sighs> I'm taking this down. I'm gonna box it up and get it the hell out of here. I have no idea. <sighs> I'm gonna see what's on here. I keep hearing something in this house and the fucking clown in the closet, not in the closet, in the closet. Like, I'm gonna look over all this and see exactly what happened in that closet as that clown was in there and then out of there. <laughs> this ought to be interesting. I, I have no words. I can't understand how something that I had propped up literally stands up and walks right out of the closet as if it just come to life. Like, how does that ever happen? Literally just walking in the house from the closet where I had it propped up just on, on a ladder. In the closet on the ladder. It was nothing in there but just the costume and accessories. No person in there. <sighs> if you're standing there as still as you can, that's, that's it, it's over. Just give it up. Give it up, come on, move. Will you move? Come on. All right, there's no way. There's no way. How the fuck did that thing just catch it on camera? Walking out of the closet. Who's in this house? There's no way. How do I? How do I even make sense of this? I have no idea. Let me turn this camera around here. Nothing makes sense anymore. That's why I'm thinking. Nothing makes sense. There's no way. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I just heard it again in here. Something fucking banging in the closet. No, no way. There's no way. Taking us down and out of here. Like something does look different, like it actually did move or something. What the hell? Didn't look like it moved the first time it was gone. Sorry, but... God. 
I am done with this. Pack it all up. Get it the hell out of here. I don't time for this. Let's get one of these damn boxes. You're wondering, what is going on? Why is there another clown video? Like, why is this going on for all eternity? I question myself, why? Why do I have to be pushed to do that? Why do I have to upload a clown video? Whether it's an old one or a new one, why do I have to do that? Why can't I just upload something that makes me happy, that resonates well with me, and at the same time, is resonating well with YouTube? It's, it, it needs to resonate well with the YouTube algorithm, with everyone who watches, but for some reason, when I upload something that's meaningful, that's good for my mental health, that is educational, that provides something positive to the, to the world, such as the video about the solar eclipse, about how to be prepared for it and, and to watch out for things that are going to happen during that event, you know, giving you a heads up. I'm providing useful information, but then yet... That video gets a lot of hate when I look at the ratings, percentage-wise. I look at the viewership, way down. I'm like, what the hell's going on? YouTube's not pushing it. The algorithm's not, not accepting it. But yet, oh yeah, we can go to clown drama, and it just just fine. It's, wow, you know? But then when I go back to doing something that makes me happy, that resonates well with me, that doesn't mess with my mental health, then I feel like, it's being discarded and it's getting so aggravating to the point where I'm getting sick and tired of it. And I started YouTube 17 years ago. And I put my heart and soul into this stuff. I put a lot of my energy into this. And there was a time where this was just doing really well. And I was having so much fun engaging with everybody. And it was a, a very positive experience. And I didn't feel pressured into having to do a certain kind of content to favor the YouTube algorithm. I was just having fun sharing my life, just going on vacation, doing fun things. And it was doing really well. And I don't understand what happened with YouTube or whatever the, the, this whole algorithm or, or the viewership. I don't know what's going on to the, it's like, I got to calm down because I'm trying to speak what's on my mind. And I feel like I'm getting ahead of myself. I don't understand how I can go for getting, from getting millions of views in a video overnight to getting crap for views now. Barely what? Barely 500 views overnight. I don't understand what the hell is going on. So I have no idea what I need to do to get back to where I was. Get back to the way things were with YouTube. Where it was fun and rewarding and I had a lot of engagement. I just feel like it's not the same anymore. It's not working out. It's like everybody's... A vanished, but yet there's over 2 million subscribers on this channel, but where the hell is everybody? How can so many people stop watching? Like, out of 2.6 million subscribers, how can only 500 people watch something overnight? How is that even possible? That doesn't make sense mathematically. It just doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. There's people out there who have like 5,000 subscribers that get more views than me. So, you know, I'm not bitching about the views, I'm only upset because I'm comparing it to the way it was. And I feel like that something just snapped like a switch. And, and it aggravates me because I put all my hard work into building YouTube. And 2007 is a long time ago. And that's when I started this. And it was a gradual step up. And all of a sudden, it's like it took a nosedive. And I don't know what direction I need to go to get it back on track. That's why I'm here right now making this video to ask your opinion on what I need to do to make this better, to make this channel great again, because for some reason it has fallen apart and I've been doing everything I can to be positive and I've been sharing positive things and I don't understand why that hasn't been doing well. Like me going out exploring places, going to the beaches, going down in the river, being with friends, 
doing wholesome, fun things, things that, that are very similar to things that I've done for many years that did well many years ago. And then here we are at this point in my life where I feel like I've dropped off the face of the earth when it comes to YouTube existence. And I don't understand what the hell's going on. Like I'm trying to establish that same community that I've had. And I know we grow older together, but why would we grow apart? You know, like friendships, you know, they develop over time and friendships can grow. And there's many YouTube content creators out there who, that have been doing videos for as long as I have, and they're still doing well. They, they, had, they had their ups and downs, but in the long run, they're doing really well. And I'm like, what is going on here? Like I am doing the same kinds of things that I've always done, but then now when I share these things, like when I, I like going places, I like going on vacations, I still do these things and I share them. They don't do well. So I get pushed into the whole paranormal and the clown drama and, and I'm done. I just don't want to keep going down that road. But I had to actually make a clown video here to kind of just spark the YouTube algorithm, just to kind of wake it up a little bit and reach out to everybody, let you know if you're watching right now or anyone else out there, like, hey, we need to move on. Can we figure out together what it is that I'm lacking that's making this channel not work? Like, am I not going to the right places when I'm traveling and sharing those experiences? I mean, I'm going to very similar places that I have gone to over the last 10 years or 15 years, just different time in my life. And I'm much older, but does that really make a difference? It shouldn't because we grow older together. It's not like I'm growing older and everybody else is staying the same age. We all grow older together. That's what I don't understand. There's people out there who had those YouTube channels the same time I have, and they are doing so well, like Ray William Johnson. I mean, I remember back in the day, you know, I was making YouTube videos like since 2007. I remember way back then he was doing these commentaries doing really well. Then he got a, he had a time in his life where he kind of pulled back from YouTube and wasn't doing much for a while, and then he got back into it. And it's like, he's doing really well now. He was starting with shorts, then he started doing videos. It's like, boom, he's back. What, me? What happened? It's like my whole YouTube thing just got ripped apart and I don't understand what happened. And I don't like to be that person that rants and complains, but I mean, 17 years of my life devoted to YouTube content creation, that's a lot of time of my life. And to just walk away from it and, and pretend that YouTube is not failing, you know, I put so much years and time into that. So I don't understand why it is what it is now. You know, I have the same heart. I have the same personality. I have the same interest. I'm, I'm an outdoorsman. I'm, I'm about physical fitness. I'm about good health. I can be funny. You know, so I'm not lacking a sense of humor. When I'm happy, I'm funny. But when I'm mad, I'm not. There's a lot of things that we can relate to over the years. So I don't understand what this big disconnect is. Like what this whole thing is. It just seemed like it was a gradual decline over the last three or four years. I don't know. But it seemed like in the last couple of years, it, it, it just even went faster. But it was, it was three or four years, a gradual decline. Then it just, there was kind of more of a cliff dive. You know, it's just, I, I just watched it die. I think the, the best time for YouTube on this channel was 2016. That was the best time. That's when the channel blew up and it was, it was just insane. And yeah, because of creepy clown drama, believe it or not, that's really what caused it to take off. And, you know, 10 million views overnight on a video. <laughs> insane, totally insane, right? That went on for about maybe a year and a half or so. Then there was a gradual decline. And, uh, you know, of course, I try to follow the trends. And even though that trend back then with the creepy clown was only good back in 2016, I was like, wow, this is doing really well. I'm just gonna keep on doing it, you know? Just find another way to present it. And of course, ended up being in situations that uh, <laughs> involved people dressing up in clown costumes so it made it easier. But it wasn't all about that. But then time went by and it seemed like I just couldn't get myself away from that. I was like, okay, when I finally did and then shifted direction, I noticed things weren't doing as well. So then I shifted back to clown stuff. Then it started to do much better again. Then I, I just took a break from the clown stuff and just upload anything. You know, maybe some older uploads of vacations and things like that. And they were doing really well. And it, it seemed to be consistent for a few years following that. And I would upload here and there. It would do somewhat good. And then all of a sudden, 
about another year or so, I saw this decline. It just started going down and down and down. And when I uploaded something on, you know, on YouTube, it, it just wouldn't do well. And it was just getting worse and worse. And it's like in the last few years, it's just been at, at the worst it's ever have been. No, the, the worst it's ever, yeah, it's just been bad. So I don't know what the hell's going on. It's like this is bigger than it really is uh, to me. You know, it's, it's a lot. I just can't walk away from 2.6 million subscribers. Uh, every one of those subscribers are a human being. They're a person. Or at least I'm hopeful they are. I mean, what is it? They can't all be bots, right? But I mean, everyone's a person. And I'm not the kind of person who just walks away from somebody. I'm not the kind of person who just forgets about somebody. If you leave an impression on me, I'll remember. And I know I've left a good impression on so many people because I've been told that by so many people when I would go places and run into people who would recognize me, you know, on vacations and stuff. I've heard so many kind things about how I've changed people's lives. And I'm not trying to be that person that's like bragging about myself, but I'm just trying to be real. That it was a lot of positive things that come out of this. And, and the recognition, you know, it was, it was, it was great. You know, I love seeing people happy and smiling like, oh my gosh, it's you, you know. It's, it was a great magical moment. You know, I've, I've had people that were just happy to see me. And of course, back then when I was on family vacations, they were happy to see me and my family, all of us together. Like, they were just excited, you know. But now I'm, you know, just living on my own. And that's when I really gravitate towards YouTube more because I'm by myself. You know, my kids are growing up. It's like this. Your kids grow you, you have kids, they grow up. They move on with their lives. They could choose to get married, whatever it may be. You know, they live in their own places. Things happen. Time goes by. And then you as a parent, you just grow older. And if you still have a woman or a man in your life, then, you know, you, know, you're, you die happily ever after together. You grow old together, right? You, maybe you move somewhere to retire. And so I moved down here to kind of be in my final home, my final place. And with my trust issues, it's hard for me to be with anyone. I have friends. I, I, I just have trust issues. And the ones who I do trust live too far away. Even where I was living, they still live too far away from me from where I was living. And when I moved down here to South Georgia, they're still too far away. So I was tempted to actually move into the state they were and see where things would go. You know, that's just kind of how things have been. But living alone sucks. It causes anxiety and depression. And then when I try to do something where I'm in, in you know, interacting with people on a personal level, I feel like it has its side effects and it's taken me away from my physical activity and things that I do to keep me healthy. And I'm not about sedentary jobs. I can't sit down at a desk. I need to be constantly moving, working out, eating healthy, getting my exercise, doing the things that I normally do without any restrictions, without anything holding me back. So I'm trying to figure this whole thing out with YouTube and why do I have to revert back to this stupid clown stuff to kind of kickstart the algorithm again, just to, to keep the momentum going because there's a continual momentum that's been happening. Even when I don't upload something for a whole month, I watch just residual views from all the videos accumulatively, you know, sustain in a certain amount of views each day. I upload that video about the solar eclipse. Then all of a sudden that continuous, pretty much consistent viewership throughout the month the day after that solar, it's like it took a nosedive. So it, that solar video screwed it up. I actually deleted the video. I just deleted it today. And it's the 10th of April, 2024. I deleted it because I'm like, well, sh shit, I'm not going to have that on there. If it's going to, it's like, why would that video decide to disrupt the, the continuous viewership of the channel? Because YouTube's algorithm is like, wait a minute, this isn't a clown video. Okay, well, now we're, we got to rearrange everything. And now everything's getting all screwed up. So I deleted it to try to fix that stupid thing. I feel like we need to get past this. So in the comments, let me know what do you think would work as far as the kind of content that I would share on here that would be interesting for you. What do you think would resonate well with the YouTube algorithm? Just let me know. It has to be something that, that I can do as me living by myself with limited finances to be able to afford to do extravagant things. You know, I can't do these fancy vacations like I used to. But I could still go places, explore places of interest, be outdoors, you know, do fun vacation kinds of things with friends when they are available. So I can do fun things and share it with you. I can do cooking videos. I could do science, technology, commentaries. I used to do that and it did so well. It's like, it seems like something's changed and I don't know what it is that's changed on the other end, on, on the YouTube side. Because on my side, 
yeah, I mean, time goes by, I'm older, but I don't feel any older. I still feel like I'm in my twenties. I just don't understand, what is it? Do you get a certain age, YouTube doesn't like you anymore? But then there's other people out there who are older than me are doing really well. Like Scotty Kilmer, he's he's killing it when it comes to views. You know, he does these car, me car mechanic views. He's about, does videos about cars. He's, he's doing really well and he's older than me. So I don't know. So I have no idea what it is with the YouTube algorithm or maybe it's you. Are you happy with me sharing content of me out and about going to these places in Florida or South Carolina? or areas here in Georgia? I mean, do you not like to see that kind of content? I mean, I'm trying to do something wholesome that makes me feel good about myself. I'd rather make a video that if for any reason, any potential future employer would to, was, were to see this, such video, I wouldn't be judged by it. Cause be, oh, look, this guy's out exploring places. He's going to the beaches, he's doing, these things he's sharing that it's very interesting it's 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 nice it's 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 something that's respectful it's it's respectable it's it's something good that i would be proud of you know if i were to say oh yeah i make, I make videos on youtube yes i go exploring places you know beautiful landscapes parks you know i go to different states you know and i share it with people you know that's something to be proud of but i would never want to bring up the paranormal i feel like i wouldn't be proud of oh yeah i make videos of you know i'm in the house and just a lot of haunted stuff so i share you know i make these paranormal videos and and i'm running around screaming and yelling at ghosts using spirit boxes trying to get attention of the ghosts you know and doing whatever i can to entertain everybody I'm like no that doesn't seem respectable that seems like what's wrong with that guy you know and that's what i don't want i feel like me making the wholesome videos of cooking, maybe um, things things involving science, technology, and me out exploring places, or just a typical day in my life where it's a positive experience. And you know, I'm not going to be talking about drama or anything because, like, drama is not a good thing, right? Drama is not a good thing. In politics, I try to keep away from that, you know. I don't want to cause conflict. But that's where I stand right now. I hope you guys understand how I'm feeling. I am frustrated because I thought that me being happy is what everybody wanted. And then when I share me being happy, I'm getting this on the video and it's not getting the views. And YouTube's telling me you got 35% less interest in this video. I'm like, why is that? Because I'm not running around the house screaming ghosts and having over-the-top crazy stuff like that? Is that what it is? Like, I don't get it. Let me know in the comments. What am I doing wrong? Why is it when I'm happy doing something that's respectable is going to these places that are outdoors and it's beautiful? Why is it when I upload that, it's not doing well? And it's, it's almost like, don't do this. I'm gonna give you a thumbs down, I don't like it. I don't understand. But yet when I'm making these videos that, you know, are crazy, these paranormal videos, you know, these haunted house videos, you know, things like that, that have a negative effect on my mental health and cause, creates me anxiety because then I start looking over my shoulder, I start feeling like I'm being judged and I start feeling like it's gonna affect my future like with employment or respect in the community and, and a lot of other things i'm like i really just want to get past that to do something that i can sleep at night better and not have the anxiety and be happy and i that's all i want is to be happy and share that with the world spread happiness let me know in the comments what is it that i'm doing wrong when it comes to sharing positive here i'd love to hear from you Anyway, all of you are amazing. Thank you for being here. Um, it's kind of a mixture of content on here. Like I said, me out here in my yard. And then of course, uh, my uh, road trips, you know. I don't even know what I've used in a video yet or not. 
I got a whole collection of road trip videos. I just it just gather them up and then I put them together and edit them. Anyway, stay safe and you're amazing. Take care.